Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Live. On this channel, we instill hope and positivity by providing you with strategies and tactics to help you live a happy and fulfilled life. So we continue to talk about my journey with the tinnitus and all the solutions that I have tried so far to deal with it in the hopes that it can help you or help a loved one deal with it. So my friends used to ask me, Raja, what do you hear? What kind of noise you hear in your head? What kind of sound? And it was so difficult for me to explain it to them because it wasn't that ringing that people talk about. It wasn't uh, that uh, water sound, wind sound. It was something that kept changing all the time. Sometimes the pitch is low, sometimes it's high. And when it gets loud and it roars in my head, it caused me severe headaches and nausea and I couldn't get out of bed for many, many, many days in a row. So the easiest way I can explain it, and I'm going to give my age away by talking about it now. Um, do you remember in the old days when we had the TVs and the antennas? And in order for us to find a TV station, we used to turn the antennas around until we got that TV station. When the station closed, what would you hear? Do you remember? Please comment below and let me know if you remember those days and how that sound felt like. So, the closest I can talk about the sound is that it's like that station when it closes and it just like shh, but it's not a shoe sound. I can't even begin to explain it or describe it, but it makes sense now when I talk to you about the electricity in the brain. So today I want to talk about, okay, what is going on for God's sake? Where did we go wrong? The brain, when I'm talking about the brain, because it is believed that this symptom is due to something that went wrong along the whole auditory cortex, right from the outer ear all the way to the auditory cortex in the brain and that's the area of the brain that processes the sounds that we hear. It could be a trauma for example that caused uh, this tinnitus, it could be tumor, it could be many factors like I spoke about in the past. So the, the thing is that when we hear sound, sound travels through the outer ear to the middle ear, and then to the inner ear. And in the inner ear, we have inner ear. <laughs> we have in the inner ear, we have hair cells. Those cells vibrate when the sound wave comes through and it transmits the sound wave into an electrical impulse that is transmitted through the hearing uh, nerves to the, or it's, it's the eighth nerve, a hearing nerve, but it has two branches that it goes all the way to the auditory cortex. So this is usually what happens on a daily basis. However, when there is a damage to the hair cells, and usually that is one of the most common reasons for tinnitus, when those hair cells are damaged, they are not able now to transmit the sound wave, convert it into an electrical impulse, 
and transmit it to the brain. So the brain, the poor brain, it tries to help us. So what it does then, because it's not receiving that signal, it's now up its game, try to hear the sounds in the background, which it's not receiving at all now, or some, at least, some sounds. And the way I can describe it is, the easiest way is that, let's assume you are looking, you know, when you turn the radio knob and you're trying to find a signal, so you keep searching and you keep pressing in, in the, the newer cars now, we have just like you press the button and it scans for signals. So that's the same thing with the brain. It keeps trying to find the signals. However, by doing so, it increases the activity. So what we hear in the brain is the electrical impulses in the brain, this whole chatter that is happening usually, but we don't hear it because we tune it out. So if you have, which in my case, that's the case, I have hearing loss at a high frequency. So the tinnitus sound is of a high pitch. And if it is at a low frequency, then you hear it at a low pitch. And that's, that's what the brain is trying to do. It's trying to help us like many, many, many ways the body tries to help us and heal. But then sometimes it just goes about it, not in the best way for us. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a brief idea of what's going on in the brain. And that's important to understand because if we understand that this ha is happening here as well, then we can try to deal with the impact of the tinnitus by working on the brain and I will be talking about that in some of the therapies or treatments in my next video to deal with tinnitus. So I hope you are having an amazing no tinnitus day and be kind, be blessed, be happy, and I'll see you in the next video.